Hello and welcome to a DEXIS OP3D Pro clinical training video for acquiring panoramic images. This video covers patient positioning, projection selections, and acquiring the image. You can select a specific topic using the seek bar on this video. For an overview of the DEXIS OP3D Pro hardware and its components, click the thumbnail at the top right corner of this video. Prepare the unit for use. Assemble the chin and sinus rest. Place the bite fork with bite block into the chin rest. If your patient is edentulous, use the edentulous bite positioner or the chin support. Place barriers on all items needed at this time. Once the patient is selected in your imaging software, use the unit's touch screen to select the type of imaging program and exposure settings. Choose from a full panoramic image for four body types, sizes, three tooth arch selections for a partial panoramic imaging, or sinus image. Either select manual mode and adjust the KV and MA values as required, or select automatic dose control, ADC, and the system automatically selects the best exposure values. The ADC option is highly suggested. Prepare the patient for the procedure by asking the patient to remove any metal artifacts, including earrings, necklaces, hairpins, or removable appliances from the shoulders and above. Properly place a protective lead apron over the patient in accordance with your local regulations. Press the Patient In button from the positioning panel on the unit. The unit will rotate into Patient In position. Adjust the height of the temple support by pressing the Temple Support Height Adjustment button. Next, open the temple supports by turning the adjustment knob counterclockwise. Ensure the temple support is in the topmost position for an adult pan. The lower positions are for pediatric pan images only. The buttons will re-engage when the desired height is achieved. Instruct the patient to stand as straight and tall as possible in front of the unit for preliminary alignment. Adjust the unit's height so it is slightly higher than the patient's chin using the up-down arrows on the positioning panel. Ask the patient to grasp low on the patient handles and bite on the bite block so that both the upper and lower anterior teeth are in the grooves of the bite block. Check the patient's head position by pressing the laser light button on the positioning panel. Adjust the Frankfurt horizontal plane laser so that the light line is parallel to the porion from the lower orbit of the eye or orbitale to the upper margin of the ear canal or external auditory meatus. Manually adjust the patient's head as needed. If the chin is too high or too low, the resulting x-ray image will be distorted. Ensure the patient's head position is properly aligned with the mid-sagittal laser light. This vertical line should pass directly through the center of the philtrum. The head should not be turned or tilted. Compensate for misalignments by manually moving the patient's head into the proper position. If the patient's head is turned or tilted, the resulting x-ray images will be distorted. Check the image layer laser position. Ideally, this line should fall on the middle of the maxillary canine or base of the nose if edentulous. However, given each patient's unique anatomy, the line may display anterior or posterior to the canine. Select the button that corresponds to the position of the laser light relative to the patient's canine. Choose A if the laser line is posterior to the canine on the patient, B if it is on the canine, and C if it is anterior to the canine. The laser light itself will not move, although the unit has been internally adjusted to acquire an optimal image. Gently move the head support toward the patient by pressing both buttons and sliding the head support until it lightly touches the patient's forehead. Then release the buttons. Turn the knob on head support clockwise to gently close the temple support paddles. Ask the patient to take one step forward to straighten the spinal column. The patient is now slightly leaning backwards and should remain this way during the image capture process. Ask the patient to press their tongue to the roof of their mouth, swallow, and remain still for the duration of the exposure. Inform the patient that the unit will rotate around his or her head and will give off an audible signal that stops when the exposure is complete. Press the laser light button on the positioning panel and double check the patient's position. Make any required adjustments. Press the start button on the positioning panel. Move a safe distance away, at least six feet, or behind a suitable x-ray shield while maintaining line of sight to the patient during exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button. The rotating unit rotates around the patient's head. Both an audible signal will sound and the exposure warning symbol on the touch screen will appear. Once the image has been acquired, the rotating unit and the audible signal stop. 
Release the exposure button. Release the temple support using the adjustment knob and carefully guide patient out of the unit. Review the image preview displayed on the unit touchscreen. Remove all disposable covers and disinfect the unit according to the directions in the user manual. Additional information. Exposures can also be taken in a seated position. If you would like to show the patient how the rotating unit works, or if you are concerned about the clearance of the patient's shoulders, you can use test mode using the test icon on the touchscreen.